Digital communication is the electronic exchange of data, information, or message. It takes many forms and has become the communication standard for individuals and organizations over the past decades into a new technology and has become a mainstay for everyday interaction. A lot of advantage and disadvantage of digital communication the advantage of digital communication is share information and connect with others. The disadvantage of digital communication is fake news and cyberbullying. There are a lot of social media that we use. An example, WhatsApp, Telegram, Instagram, X and also Facebook. For the first one, the advantage of digital communication is share news. In this situation, this girl want to find her classroom but she didn't know where the class will help. At this moment, she decided to ask her classmate. She called her classmate to ask where the class will be help. Her classmate tell her that she will text her the location of the class. After that, she messaged her to get the accurate classroom location. After her friend replied, she goes straight to the location. The location of the classroom at the level 2 in the faculty building. In the middle way, she go to the classroom. Fortunately, she meet her classmate. She go to them and say thanks for the information. Here, we can see that through digital communication, we can share news between others and can ask for help when we need it. And also, we can see that through digital communication, we can share news and information faster and easier. Digital communication play a big role to spread the news smoothly to the others. The second advantage of digital communication is we can connect with other people through apps. This situation shows us that we can call other people that live away from us and see them through video call. This girl called his mother to ask about her mother's well-being. She used app called WhatsApp to make a video call with her. Other than that, her friend saw her and greet her. At that moment, we can see that she can also introduce her friend to her mother. Besides that, she tried to communicate with her housemate through group voice call. She want to ask what her other housemate doing, and with the group call, a lot of people can communicate at the same time without gathering. So, this proof that with digital communication, we can connect with other people in many ways without meet or gather face to face. We can also meet new people and get to know other people in a new way instead of meet in real life. We still can communicate easily without any hard challenge and we get the information that we need in the simplest way we can do. Next, there are disadvantages of digital communication. One of the disadvantages is break the fake news. This current situation show where two people are discussing an issue. When they were both talking about the topic being discussed, a student came and sat near them without them both realizing. And then, the student that came hearing the discussion. She actually doesn't hear it clearly and just heard the point that only sound interesting to her. After listening, 
She got up without checking the truth and told the third person about what she heard just now. After that, she met her friend to tell the story about what she heard. Without she knowing, she actually telling her friend a story that actually didn't come from the right source. And her friend shocked and believed the story that be told by her was true. Then, her friend told to the two students who were there and they were shocked when they heard the fake news that come from her. Next, the student who spread the fake news to his friend met the two students in the faculty area and corrected the student's understanding of the issue. Then, they explained the truth about the issue discussed. So here, we need to make sure the news that we bring is truth and confirm back the information with the source. Other than that, if you're not sure with information is true or not, do not tell the other to avoid the fake news being spread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, the second disadvantage of digital communication is cyberbully. In this situation, the girl took a picture of the scenery and a selfie. Then she decided to send their picture to her friends. The reason she want to share her picture because she feel that picture looks good and to boost her self-esteem. Her friends praised the picture of the scenery but then out of sudden her friends exulting the picture of her selfie. Because of that, the student feels bad that it caused her to feel down and sad. She feels like she been downgraded and the insulting from her friends were true. Even though it's not her fault and it's not a big mistake, she decided to say sorry because she thinks that the picture that she sent to her friends make them feel uncomfortable. Even though it's not her fault, she decided to say sorry because she thinks that's the right way to do. She thinks that her friend's opinion is more important than her feeling. That's the reason why she feels that she's not enough to be their friends. She wants to be alone because she thinks that she doesn't deserve to be anybody's friends. And then a student comes to her to comfort her and persuade her that she don't need to think about other people's work because she needs to be confident of herself. As you should know, cyberbully is a crime and it can be a serious crime against a person who does it. So here we need to know that cyberbully is the bad attitude and can cause negative effect to other people.